Hello everyone. My name is Naresh Chetri. I'm an adjunct instructor of computer science at Lindenwood University. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the if, elif, and else chain. This is called the chain because it has more than two. But before starting that, so it comes under the if statements in the Python language. Okay. So we are talking here about the Python language. And before starting with if elif and else chain, you have to know two more things. The first one is the simple if statement. The simple if statement means that has one test and it has the one action. We normally say if statement has one test and one action, and this is for the test is for only the true. I mean the true block. And the another is if else, so this one has on the contrary, it has two tests and two action. So that is for either condition is true or the condition is false. So today we are going to learn on the top of that for the third one, which has one more else block. So more than if, elif, elif is nothing, but it is the short form of else if. So in many other programming language, you see it's known as else if, but here Python has make it shortcut. So it's elif in Python only. So, so test more than two possible situations. So here is the third possible situation. In other words, we can either say true, false, and the other situation too, and that executes only one block in the chain. Although it has a chain, chain means it has a three block. Say if, elif, and else, that looks like chain, but it executes only that block which satisfy the condition. So it looks something like this. So for the first if statements that looks normal, it has a test condition one and the statement are executed when the condition is true. And for the second one, we go with the else if that is nothing but same like the else statement. And that go with the test condition two. If this condition is not satisfied, then it will ultimately check over this one. So it's also a true condition. And at the end, we have the else part where if these both, if these both do not satisfy, then we go to this, the last one. So it's simple, uh, but to make more clear, let us see more. If the test one passes, the statement for test one is executed means the true block over there is executed and rest are skipped. Means we don't go over the other condition, these other two. And the similar, this the second elif one is another if test, but nothing new, but it is the another if test. So that is called a test two as is specified over here. That is a second test that runs only if previous test failed. So if if the previous test fail, means if the test one fails, then only this runs. So if both test, the first and second fail, then Python run the ports in the else block. This is the simply, as we said earlier, that comes in the else part. So this is in the else block that gets executed only when this, this both. Fails. So in many real world situations, so I'm showing, I'm trying to show you one real world situation that involves more than two possible conditions. So here is something we are trying for the uh, ticket price of some park or zoo, you can say. So here in the ticket pricing, we are trying to check if a person is less than five, four years, 
the price is free. And if the person is less than 18 years, the price is dollar trend. And if anyone above the 18 years, the price is 20. So we want to make this implement in the Python program and show you how it actually works. So that's why it's it's known as the if elif else cn. So let us see the program now. So here you go. So here is the program for the same implementation. So we have set the age value as two in the beginning. You can set to add at any number, but just to check the condition and trying to print some some masses depending on the age. So as our condition says, if our age is less than four, then the price is free or we say zero dollar. If our age is less than 18 years, then the ticket price is dollar 10. And if otherwise in the, the rest case, the ticket price is 20 dollars. So let us check, uh, let me do the age is 27 years old and run that. It will say your ticket price is 20 because it will print the same message. Sorry, you are above 18 years. So uh, you can change this is variable to anything or you can set, check for example, two and run again and you see the ticket price is zero. It's per hour condition set because this is this has executed the first true and it it didn't check the rest elif and the else part but in the previous one the both condition were checked and it went to the third one that is the else part i hope that helps thank you